Hello, in this video we're just going to show you some updates on our ongoing uh, R&D exploration of the U-Blox F9 uh, GNSS ship which can handle GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Baidu uh, all at once to produce a quite accurate uh, positioning. So, uh, of course this is uh, the development uh, update of actually this device which is the new Raspberry Pi Zero W based EchoDroid GPS Bluetooth GPS which will essentially take the NMEA from this uh, U-Blox uh, board. This is its antenna. Take. We, we just take the NMA, MAA from this USB cable coming from the U-Blocks into the Raspberry Pi W with our EchoDry GPS uh, Bluetooth GPS software in it and send it to the phone by Bluetooth, right? So it's a little, it's essentially very similar to uh, Bluetooth serial modules that you can connect directly to the board but the difference is that with this software you can connect multiple uh, Bluetooth uh, devices at the same same time like we have tested six concurrent uh, devices at the same time taking GPS from the same source which is quite useful for uh, mobile network benchmarking tests where they take uh, you know phones from uh, testing the network mobile network LTE 3G 4G whatever from multiple operators and comparing it and the GPS position needs to be exactly the same from one device so you know that's one use case and the other thing is that it's uh, quite uh, uh, convenient to have uh, your USB GPS just connected to a device and then you get uh, a Bluetooth GPS without needing to worry about uh, serial in interfaces and board rates and whatever so you can just take your USB device and configure what you want in U-Blocks U Center or whatever and just connect it to this uh, module Echo Drive GPS, and then it becomes the Bluetooth GPS you can connect to multiple Android phones concurrently. So let's show how it's working right now. So uh, let's go to the settings and uh, turn on Bluetooth, and then it's gonna scan for. Bluetooth devices in the area. Okay, it's found Echo Dry GPS. Yeah, let's pair with it. Press OK, it's paired now. So we let's try connect to it using the popular GNSS commander app. Alright, so we can just choose GPS input here and choose Bluetooth. And then okay, it's found the device. So just back out here. And okay, it's connected uh, right now, and uh, it's showing 12 sats used. Actually, when I'm checking in U Center, actually there are like about 20 satellites used. Yeah, like like in the screen, it's showing 21 uh, because it's using about five or six from each technology, which it's. Uh, uh, compatible with and it's seeing in the view uh, which is uh, in U-Blocks U Center you can see it's using GPS, GLONASS, Galileo and Baidu all at once so uh, yeah this screen it's I'm not sure if it's because the the different NMEA or something sometimes it's refreshing but yeah like just now it it all went away in this screen but in U center you you will see more uh, continuous uh, usage stats but anyway here in the Android phone we just want to enable the mock location 
and then use it with a target app which actually if we use the other app for let's turn this off and see look at it in another app which is the famous SW Maps app you don't need to uh, enable mock locations so right now this is the Samsung S9 uh, position in the blue dot which we are on the side actually this is on the device is on the car next to the house on the side of the house you can see the Samsung S9 position is uh, moving a bit from time to time but anyway it's quite accurate for a phone GPS already but let's connect the Bluetooth GPS and compare it so we choose Bluetooth GPS here it's already seen Echo Drive GPS Blue GPS press connect here okay okay connected you can see the lat long and elevation fixed type in U center it's actually 3d fixed now but here it's showing single it might be some NMEA incompat uh, issue but that's nothing to worry about and then here we can see the red place mark is the location from the Bluetooth GPS so if I walk north so you can see my uh, blue phone marker uh, going up north and then I'm walking back to the car here you can see the the U blocks place marker is quite stable not moving anywhere so now I'm gonna place the the phone on the car and I'll move the U blocks antenna instead north as long as the line supports, of course, the length of the line, the cable, okay, that's up to the limit of the cable. And then I'm walking back, placing it on the car, again, on the hood. Okay, and uh, yeah, picking up my phone. So yeah, you can see the, the difference, uh, the, the phones is a bit more moving, whereas the U-Blocks antenna is quite more stable. However, the phone is uh, quite accurate anyway, after you leave it for a while. So uh, yeah, that's the project update right now. Maybe later we'll show some info from the NMEA. Uh, maybe probably the U Center if I got some time, <laughs> which is uh, continuing this hobby project. But anyway, it's quite quite interesting to try this uh, dual frequency GPS device, which is uh, quite famous now uh, from the Ardu Simple uh, Kickstarter based project and connect it to this uh, echo Droid gps future version you know this is just like a development version and uh, let's see how it goes and uh, we'll update you later anyway thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye yeah of course goodbye but i need to turn this recorder off okay goodbye